After the huge success of the first iteration of the Real Boxing series, it isn't surprising that Vivid Games has now launched the second iteration of this game for mobile, which has addressed the issues of the first one. But does it live up to the reputation? I guess we'll have to find out. So hey what's up guys, it's me Hari Lakshman here and this is my review on Real Boxing 2. The storyline of this game surrounds around the Creed movie. You have to work on farming your character and make him the best. The storyline adds some flavor into the game but it can still be ignored. Games made by this company are well known for their graphics and this game is no exception. Thanks to Unreal Engine 4, the characters look more realistic and although it comes with a performance hit, it's still gorgeous. The environments on the other hand look a bit too mechanical. The people outside the stadium, except the cameraman, don't move at all. They stand in a stationary position with no movement which really bugged me. I know that people would focus more on the battle rather than the environment but the company must realize that the environment plays a major role in making the game to look more realistic. The animations of this game is really good, just like its predecessor. The gameplay mechanics of this game is solid. Unlike other boxing games, you can't win a level by mashing the screen. You have to spot the weakness of your opponent to win a match. You have two gorgeous, one is for your health and the other is for your stamina. If your stamina is too low, your punches won't be effective resulting you to switch from offensive to defensive mode until it recharges. Timing is one of the key factors in this game. You have to attack your opponent when their guard drops to stand a chance. There are also mini games where you have to train your boxer's statistical pass. The inventory of this game isn't huge, but it's good enough for most of them. The soundtrack of this game is just okay. It's really good in some matches and it's not up to my expectations in others. The controls of this game is really intuitive. Tap on the screen to jab your opponent, swipe up for an uppercut, hold on the guard button to defend yourself and you can hold and swipe to execute a special attack. The controls can take some time to adjust to. In overall, this game is a solid package with very little problems. Since it's a free to play game, I can easily recommend it to anyone. If you are interested, click on the I on the top right corner to try it out. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Welcome back to the bonus round for staying up so long. If you're planning on closing this window, just hold on for a minute. I think I have some reviews which you would like to watch. And please don't forget to give this video a like. And if you're so inclined, hit that subscribe button to make me happy. Anyways, have a nice day. Bye.